Hi, fourth graders or former fourth graders. Uh, it's Mr. Smarava here, and I just wanted to say hello um, one more time um, and uh, give you a little bit of information, parents. Um, but I've got some friends here with me. Um, I'll start uh, by letting them shout out and introduce themselves. Hey, it's me, Miss Darling. Hey, it's Miss Bernard. Hola, soy Miss Wendy. Where's Miss Wendy? Miss Hi, Miss Wendy. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so this school year went by very quickly, and uh, every school year for me um, always goes by very quickly. And I've learned that time goes quickly when you enjoy what it is that you're doing. And I've certainly enjoyed this school year just as much as I've enjoyed every other school year. And every year I'm surprised at how quickly the time goes by. Eh, Mr. Smarva dice de que este año se ha pasado bien rápido. Eh, para él todos los años se pasan rápido, pero esto particularmente fue más rápido. Eh, cuando el tiempo se pasa tan rápido, quiere decir que estamos pasando un tiempo divertido. Así que ha sido un gusto el año que hemos convivido con ustedes. You know what else is surprising? What's surprising to me is that we still have some students who aren't enrolled for next school year. But uh, this video is going to impart, um, give you a little bit of information as to how you can make that happen. Uh, otra cosa que nos ha sorprendido es ver de que todavía hay algunos estudiantes de cuarto grado que van pasando para quinto grado que no están reinscritos. Recuerden, cada año hay que reinscribirse. Entonces, este, parte de este video es para darles la guía y la información que necesitan para que puedan reinscribirse. So enrollment, re-enrollment at this point is going to be different than what is in the past because uh, the enrollment office um, is closed. We can't have people come in for enrollment because of the COVID, um, but we will, uh, Miss Erica is available to help you walk you through parents uh, and to get your children re-enrolled. Este año va a ser un poquito diferente, eh, como, en, como ha sido la reinscripción, reinscripción de otro año, otros años, no pueden llegar ustedes a las oficinas centrales, pero mi Erika está disponible a través del teléfono a estos números que ustedes ven en la pantalla ahorita, donde ustedes la pueden localizar y puede, ella les va a guiar paso a paso qué es lo que deben de hacer para completar la reinscripción de sus hijos. Thank you, Miss Wendy. So um, right here, I have information for you for uh, Miss Erica at the central office. You see the number here. You can dial that number. You can also reach her by cell phone. Uh, that number, office number is 385-0771. 385-0771. The cell phone number is 312-463-9621. That number again, 312-463-9621. Así que ya saben, pueden llamar a Miserica a las oficinas centrales al 414-385-0771 o a su celular incluso, que es el área eh, 312-463-9621. All right. Thank you. Uh, so that's information. Please call Erica. The enrollment uh, window is open right now. We want to make sure that we get all of our friends from fourth grade back enrolled so that we can have you here for fifth grade in the fall. Recuerden, es muy importante que completen esta, esta parte de reinscripción porque nosotros queremos que todos nuestros estudiantes de cuarto grado regresen en el otoño para quinto. Good. And uh, I'm just going to ask my uh, guests here a few questions. Um, Miss Bernhardt, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you thought uh, Google Classroom went this year? I think that Google Classroom went phenomenally well. Um, and I'm really excited to incorporate it into next school year um, and incorporating more technology into the classroom every day. I have had an overwhelmingly great response on Google Classroom. You guys have been turning in assignments, interacting with me, asking questions. Um, so I see it as a really positive platform for us to keep on using. So shout out to you guys for taking that on so quickly. Mr. Smart le preguntó a Ms. Bernhardt cómo sentía que estaba trabajando todo lo que es el Google Classroom ahora para los estudiantes y ella dijo de que ella está muy contenta y muy emocionada de que hay el Google y, e incorporarla para el próximo año, ¿verdad? 
oportunidad para tenerlo de una manera a, a, accesible para los estudiantes. También quiero felicitar a todos los estudiantes por su gran esfuerzo que hicieron durante todo este tiempo. So, thank you. Um, I would agree with you, Ms. Bernhardt. The students' response has been phenomenal. I think the work that the teachers have done has been phenomenal. With regard to Google Classroom, every student who was enrolled this year has a, an Atlas Google address. And in order to keep that address, you have to be enrolled in our school for next year. Recuerden, eh, todos los estudiantes se les han eh, dado su, su dirección de correo electrónico de, con con de Atlas para que puedan seguir con ellas tienen que estar reinscritos, ¿verdad? Entonces asegúrense por favor nuevamente de reinscribirlos porque los necesitamos aquí. Además necesitamos que todo esté listo para cuando para que tengan hasta su bus listo. Mientras más pronto lo hagan mejor. Good, Miss Darling, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we've been doing at school for the past week? Well, here I am in our fourth grade classroom, and I have just been spending a lot of time disinfecting everything. So next year when we come back, we want to make sure all of our fourth graders, now fifth graders, will be super safe and secure in the building. So we've been disinfecting books and desks and chairs and making sure everyone can stay happy and healthy. Mr. Esmeralda le preguntó a Miss Darling qué es lo que hemos estado haciendo eh, en esta semana que hemos estado aquí. Y pues Miss Darling y como todos los demás maestros han pasado todos los días limpiando y desinfectando todo de pies a cabeza, de arriba abajo, eh, sillas, escritorios, todo. Eh, um, todo está listo para cuando ustedes regresen el próximo año a cada uno de sus salones estén con salud y sean felices de vuelta aquí en la escuela. Thank you. And Mr. Winkowski, today is Tuesday, June 2nd, and what's coming up tomorrow, June 3rd, and Thursday, June 4th? Well, June 3rd and June 4th, we uh, are actually having uh, the opportunity, of course, for our students to pick up any of their supplies that they have left here uh, so parents and the, the students are welcome to come back and I will personally be uh, along with the help of my worthy constituent uh, Ms. Jabari will be taking out some of the, the packages to the parents uh, as they arrive. We, all have, we have been arranging them alphabetically and by grade. Uh, we have a nice system going and we're looking forward to you know briefly and safely saying hello to some of the families that we you know certainly missed. Um, so please uh, do take part in this. And also I wanted to extend a congratulations to everybody for advancing to the fifth grade and for doing a real good job with Google Classroom. I understand that there are some challenges with uh, doing PE with uh, Google Classroom, but you guys had some very thoughtful answers that were returned to me. So thank you for that. And we hope to see you tomorrow and or Thursday. Y Mr. Esmeralda le preguntó a Mr. Winkowski eh, qué es uh, lo que va a estar pasando en los próximos días. Y él dijo de que lo que es el día de mañana y pasado mañana, jueves, eh, miércoles y jueves, de 9 a 4 de la tarde vamos a estar regresando las pertenencias de sus estudiantes, de todos ustedes. Así que por favor, entre esas horas, vengan, estacionense en la parte de, de donde se estacionan los buses sobre la avenida de Kansas. No se tiene tienen que bajar, Mr. Winkowski, Ms. Jabari y otro perso más personal, maestros de la escuela, van a estar uh, llegando a los carros, diciéndoles que les digan el nombre de, y el grado, y ellos van a sacarle sus bolsas con sus pertenencias, y a la vez van a aprovechar para saludar, saludarlos breve y con, y con seguridad con sus mascarillas y saludarlos a todos. También Mr. Winkowski quería felicitar a todos los estudiantes de cuarto grado por su promoción a quinto grado. Él sabe que han hecho un gran esfuerzo en su trabajo de, en, sus, en, el, en la plataforma de Google y sabe que también puede ser un poquito difícil hacer lo que es educación física, pero ha recibido muy buenas e interesantes respuestas de parte de todos ustedes. Ok. Thank you, Miss Wendy. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's time to say goodbye to our fourth graders. So one by one. 
Bye, guys. I really, really miss you, and I can't wait to see you next year. Please do not be a stranger. Miss Darling and I will be down here at the end of the hall for a hello um, and to catch up. So I hope you guys have a really safe, fun, and healthy summer. Hi, friends. I am going to miss you so much. And definitely what Miss Bernhardt said, I am always going to be down here definitely next year. So I am looking forward to seeing you all move on to fifth grade. Bye. Mr. Winkowski. Congratulations. And again, um, we do look forward to seeing you next year. Also, it's so great that you guys have the Atlas emails. If there are any questions uh, this week, please feel free to reach out. Um, and uh, this is going to be great. We've got a lot of new and exciting uh, plans for you on tap with PE and with the other programs here for fifth grade. So be well and be safe. Gracias a todos. Uh, uh, les mando un gran abrazo a todos. Los extrañamos mucho. No tuvimos la oportunidad de decirles adiós personalmente, pero les mandamos un caluroso saludo y abrazo a la distancia. Como sus maestras dijeron, ellas van a estar ahí al final del pasillo. Recuerden el próximo año, cuando ya estén en quinto, no olviden de pasar a saludarlas a ellas, porque ellas también mucho. Mr. Winkowski dijo nuevamente de que los felicitaba mucho a todos por su promoción y cualquier duda pueden ya tienen su correo electrónico de la escuela y pueden comunicarse con cualquiera del personal de aquí de la escuela. Gracias. Adiós. Thank you for listening. Uh, and fourth graders, uh, be safe um, and know that you're loved and that you are missed and read, read 30 minutes a day, every day at least. Okay. All right. We love you. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you all. Parents, please make sure that you get those kids signed up if they haven't been already. Thank you. Have a great summer. Bye, guys.